This is what's happening with the corporate citizen playbook. I had put out that this wasn't going to be done until the end of July. Uh, that was wrong. I'm going to get that done the end of May. So the price is going to go up and I want you to see what's in there. We've got a lot of stuff in there. We've got some power days. We got some other stuff in there. The S Corp S corporation formation and guidance, my hidden holding company and this right here, corporate banking, your holding company, banking, holding company accounts, sending up your operational bank accounts the $100,000 loan hack for your starter business the American Express credit hack these are things that you cannot find on YouTube they're nowhere where to be seen and I'm gonna tell you why you can't find them on YouTube because I'm a technician I'm out here doing this in real life I'm doing this for real so this is some information that you can't get anywhere else and it can be literally life-changing for a lot of people so you you're getting this information and I'm telling you that this course is going to be done no later than May 31st, maybe the first, and it's going to be done and we got a lot of stuff to go in. So what you want to do is go in, go into the description or go to the comment section. And what you want to do is go ahead and get in this course today using promo code jump. J-U-M-P, which will get you a massive discount and set you in the position to get everything else that I am getting ready to create as we go down this pathway of making people corporate citizens and getting to that $250,000 per year annual income. That's the goal. That's what we're working on. And there's so many things that are going to come this year that are literally going to blow your mind. So what you want to do is get in, like I said, it's going to be done much sooner than July. <laughs> it's in that we're not even going to make it to June. And then June, we will be doing how to make a lot of money with YouTube. So go ahead, get in the course, get the lessons, because there's a lot of things for you to start working on at the moment. What's going on, guys? Today, I got a few questions to ask you. Number one question, how many hours per day do you work? Put that in the comments. How many hours per week do you work? Put that in the comments. How many hours per month that you work? Put that in the comments. Because I'm noticing something. Um, I had a lunch with someone that I'm gonna be doing business with um, in the very future. And we were having a really interesting conversation and he's really young and um, he's working. He doesn't even know how many hours he's working. And uh, we're going to have a discussion about that. But I want to know how many hours are you actually working? I remember seeing this YouTube video where this uh, guy in tech said he works one hour a day making $200,000 a year. I'm just sitting there like, now, I'm not in tech. I don't know anything about tech. And some of you tech people will start coming in. And I actually had a comment from a tech worker like, I just goof off. I just goof off. And I'm just sitting there like. <sighs> Here's the thing. I knew someone who had a very highly paid job. And he got laid off. And because he had a highly paid job, he had some assets, he had some Apple stock, and he did not immediately try to go back to work, which for him turned out to be a really bad, bad decision. And this is, I'm going somewhere with this, so kind of stick with me. Right now, everyone is trying to escape work, which is why I asked the questions at the beginning of the video. How many hours are you working per day? How many hours are you working per week? How many hours are you working per month? Please put those answers in the comments because everyone is trying to escape work, find the quickest, easiest path to a lot of money without a lot of work. 
let me explain something to you. I have some really big goals for December 2023. And for those goals to manifest, for those goals to happen, this is going to require me to work quite a bit. Um, Monday this week, Monday and Tuesday, I had 12 hour days. And Wednesday, I just kind of dialed it back a little bit because I can adjust my schedule because I don't have anyone psh, cracking that whip. Psh, boy, psh, you need psh, to do that. I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm my own whip cracker. <laughs> I crack my own whip. And one of the things that I know for me to get to my goals in December, it is May. I am working really hard in May because I want to see, because th th this is the thing. And I've had the luxury and the benefit of starting businesses. So I know what the beginning looks like, even though this is not a complete 100% startup, but it looks, it feels, it tastes a little bit like that. And um, I will say this month's income was a lot better than I expected it would be. It was like way better. I was like, whoa, okay. So one of the things that's gonna happen is you got to get into grind mode. And grind mode is you gotta be working. And I mean, this is something that we all know, right? This is something that we all experience. But for some reason, there's a whole bunch of people who just don't want to work. Now, I've had comments, and one of the things, and I should warn you about this, we have revamped the channel. And if you put up one of those um, less than desirable comments, you, it'll be deleted and you'll be blocked. And I got to say, I sometimes go days without having to do that. And back in the day when I was putting up the foolish content, I was doing that 30, 40 times a day. So shout out to the nerd tribe, shout out to the nerd gang. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you because the number of foolish and ridiculous comments is at an all time low. And I really appreciate that because, um, with the revamp and the revamp is work. And this, this is one of the reasons that I, I held off so long and I pissed off a lot of people is I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be a challenge. I knew that it was going to take work. And literally I have to put myself in the grind mode in the work mode to do these things. And interestingly enough, cause when I, I, I charted all this out, I felt it was going to take me longer to create some of these courses, but it's not because here's the thing. Every now and then I'll take one day off or maybe two days off and then I'll get back to it. But this is one of the lessons that's in the course, the productivity course. I am using the things in the productivity course and it's doing a little bit each day versus trying to psh, boy, psh, boy. That, that's just not long-term sustainable. It's just not because you'll burn out. But when you get in the habit of working because uh, my, my calendar is kind of switching up a little bit, um, the work will produce the evidence of your passion. And one of the things that is happening because like I can go ahead and tell you, uh, the Corporate Citizen Playbook is going to be, if not finished by May, it'll be about 90% in May. And what I've decided to do is, since it's gonna be 90% finished, the price of the Corporate Citizen Playbook is going up May 31st or June 1st at 12.01 a.m. The price is gonna go up. So one of the things that is happening is when you do the work, when you do the work, like once again, I've been talking to you guys for a minute. Last month was the money management course, then the productivity course. Now the court, there's three courses that are getting done. And then we're gonna move into how to set up a YouTube channel. Got a lot of people waiting for that. How to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. And this is, this is, this is all come by work. And there, there are so many people who are trying to avoid the work 
to stay away from the work, not having to do the work. And I am seeing, and th this is something else, and this is a shout out to the younger people because I'm coming across some very young people, less than 25, who are working their butts off. Like the guy that I'm gonna do business with, he don't even know how much, he just works. He just works, he, he's not keeping track. I would suspect this guy's working 80 hours a week. 23 years old, working 80 hours a week. And with that work comes a result, comes evidence, comes a product. And this, this is one of the things because, you know, uh, I, I, I think I kind of pissed off some of the passport bros because I would be a passport bro and I, I like, look, I, go ahead and just tell me that you can't make it in America, okay? Like, what was that TikTok thing? How can you tell me that you can't make it in America without telling me you make it in America? Oh, I'm a passport, bro. I'm going to a low economy, different country so I can ball out. Yeah, that hurt, I know. Because essentially, once again, I'm about to go into a speech. We live in the United States of America, the most expensive economy in the world. It ain't getting no cheaper. And what we can expect and what we can know is housing prices are going to go up. Car prices are going to go up. Price of gas is going to go up. Price of food is going to go up. So if you want to live here, you need to get it in gear. You need to grind. You need to work. You need to do certain things so you can live in the United States of America. And if you can't, salute to you as you get your passport stamped so you can move to a cheaper economy because you can't make it here. It is what it is. You can't make it here. You can't do well here. That's why you're running to these cheap economies because you, you know, I, I see the videos. You can get this nice apartment for 500 bucks a month and it'll be furnished. And this is one of the things. Um, I am a 2022 911 Turbo S driving type of dude. I would not have that car. I would not be living where I live. I would not have the lifestyle I would have. I would not have the bank accounts that I have. I would not have the credit that I have if I wasn't willing to do the work. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what is that work? Because uh, one of the things this week I have ridden because, you know, I sometimes work seven days a week and I did not write yesterday, which was Wednesday, but I wrote Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, all the last week. So every now and then I'll, I'll kind of take a day off <clears throat> here and there because this is part of the productivity. You can go hard. And this is one of the things and hear me. And I hope you join me in what I call the corporate sprint. This is one of the things I'm doing right now. I'm working a lot. I understand that. I accept that. My girlfriend is cool with it. She doesn't bother me. She lets me do my work. And I'm getting ready to tell you something. When you could practice the corporate sprint, a corporate sprint is a period of extreme work. I have some other businesses that I'm going to be getting into. And I have some other things that I want to get into. There's some other things I want to do, right? And this is going to take me sitting down and putting in that work. I got to show up. And, you know, fortunately for me that I wasn't stupid with my money. So that gave me the ability to live for January, February, March, in April and I wasn't making no money and I could pay my bills. So I am showing you proof positive of the lessons in the money course. I, you know, I did not take four months off. I did take four months off from making money and then turning out the stuff in my YouTube. And let's go ahead and talk about this. Cause you know, people, are, oh, he's on YouTube. We get the YouTube views. He going to get the YouTube money. My YouTube money is chump change. This month, my YouTube money, which will be the highest it's been this year, will be around two, 2,000, maybe 2,500. Depends on how some videos pop. 
Uh, that's the most YouTube money that I've made in 2020, 2023. So my YouTube money is not enough for me to afford a Porsche, for me to afford the BMW. My YouTube money, I couldn't live here. I couldn't live here off my YouTube money. So fortunately, I have a plan. I'm getting on this corporate sprint. And let me go ahead and give you the finer details of the corporate sprint because this is one of the reasons I was scared. I was straight up scared because I knew that it was going to take a lot of work and I had to create a schedule for me to do the work. And I understood that the work wasn't going to happen all at once. I mean, you know, like the like corporate citizen playbook. Uh, I've been planning on doing that for a minute. And also hopefully you guys in the intellectual property got the email I sent out because there's been a lot of people who want to be shifted to the net new platform. And this is more work because essentially if I was to shift those older students to the new platform, first thing's going to happen. The promo code doesn't work. I, I, it's just going to be more work. So what I'm going to do is the intellectual property students, they're already registered. I'm just going to change the coursework over there and I'm just going to add that coursework over there and on a new platform. It's, it's the simplest, it's the easiest way that I can do this without doing a lot of work. And there is a group, uh, the, the training platform I use now has a group and I'm getting ready to cancel school. I got to see when the next payment date and I'm going to, you know, I'm giving people plenty of time. I'm not just doing some stuff, you know, and I will go ahead and establish a new group on Think of It for the intellectual property people where we can kind of get into some stuff because I'm telling you, I've had a YouTube channel with 7,000 subscribers and I was making 15,000 plus YouTube money off that channel per month. And one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to acknowledge is I, Glendon Cameron, put in the work. I just don't talk this talk. I'm out here in the real world killing dragons. And I want you to join me in the killing of dragons and the uh, bringing it down. Because one of the things, because like I said, I'm using the lesson that's in the productivity course to get all this stuff done. And I'm here to tell you, it is May and next month will be June. Then we're gonna have July. Then we're gonna have August. Then we're gonna have September. Then we're gonna have October. And I may be finished with this stuff Octoberish or Novemberish, and not necessarily December. And let me just explain to you what I'm doing. Uh, one of the things I'm doing is I'm creating a situation where I can continually sell. And this re this revive this created a situation for me to revamp everything because the old way that I was doing stuff and the old structure that I had set up it. I, I could sell in sprints and I, I can make, you know, three, four, five, six hundred thousand, a million dollars in a few months. But essentially what I want to do going forward is I want to sell year round every month. And this took me tearing everything apart and resetting it so that I could sell year round. And this took me like, man, it, it took a lot of work just to get because the beginning the groundwork the groundwork like one number one the free money management course number two the corporate citizen playbook number three how to make a lot of money with a uh, that's going to sell i already know that's going to sell and that's the reason that i put it after doing certain things because when you get into the corporate citizen playbook there's a section in the banking section that if you had taken the free money management course, you would have been more prepared for that section. So it's building, it's building upon it, it's building. So the paid content is building off of the free content and we got a lot of stuff to do. We got a lot of work to do, man, because I'm literally going to create new courses, new training, new stuff. And also let's talk about pricing. Uh, before my pricing was not in line with the recession. And I, I knew that because um, that corporate, not the corporate playbook, but 
uh, one of those corporate courses, not the corporate, I can't even think about it because it's been so long since I looked at it. But I was selling that for almost 5,000. Sold quite a few of them. And I understand that that type of pricing without heavy promotion, is just hard to do from an organic narrative. I did it before and I could probably do it again, but once again, work. Why make this thing harder than I have to? And that's why the price of the corporate citizen playbook is never going to be 5,000. It's never going to be 5,000. And um, I got a strategy that I'm going to launch in June for the YouTube stuff. And the YouTube, and let me let me just go ahead and let y'all know, the YouTube stuff is going to require a lot of work. And one of the things that I, you know, because I'm thinking about getting rid of the, the group, because only time that people come in there is to talk to me when I post something. Essentially, the way that the group should be working is, hey, my name is Jim, and this is what I'm doing with my YouTube channel. And then Jim talks to Sheila, and Sheila, this is, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. It's the only time that, you know, and that group cost me like a hundred bucks a month because I'm using school. And I'm just sitting there like, why aren't people in there communicating about what they're doing? They just wait for me. And that's one of the big changes that's going to happen because I need people to start communicating with each other about what they're doing and being very much aware of what they're doing. So there, there's a lot of changes that's going to happen. There's a lot of things that are happening. I'm doing a lot. I'm changing up a lot. I got so much to go to ha that's happening in this paradigm because once again, I am not just telling you, Hey, you're watching me. You should be working really hard. I'm actually showing you. And I haven't done, you know, I had some people like, we're going to do live stream. Um, when I get around to it, because this has been the best month on YouTube for this channel this year, best month, um, probably going to hit a hundred K is been a, um, I could tell you in January, I was like 20, 20 K in January. So it's moving. We're moving in the right direction. We have gotten out of the subscriber negative because that negative, that number at one point was like almost 2000. Now we're actually gaining subscribers. So there, there's a lot that's going on, but you, you gotta do the work. You got to work on your stuff. And one of the things that I am seeing, especially with the younger people who have YouTube channels, a lot of them are putting in crazy amount of work. They're putting in a lot of work. So shout out to those guys. I really appreciate the work that you're putting in. And once again, I have three YouTube channels. I have this channel, the road, I have mad money and I have that strong cocaine, that strong cocaine. And I'm going to start another YouTube channel. Now, this is something else, and this is going to be part of the YouTube training. Uh, I have seen that I have three YouTube channels that stem off of this channel, right? So I have very much the same audience on each channel, which is a problem because YouTube right now is really pushing new channels. I mean, what I have been seeing is like, they have adopted something from TikTok. I am seeing people's first video get 100,000 views. So this is the time for you to start a new YouTube channel right now because they're treating new channels with a love that I have never seen YouTube treat, get, treat new channels. And I can't wait to start my new channel. I got the concept and I got to write it down and I got to go ahead and get into it. But there, there's, there's, there's going to be literally a lot of stuff that's going to go down. There's going to be a lot of things that we're going to work on. And I'm excited. I am really, really excited because once again, and let, let, let's just go ahead and talk about this. You know, I just found this, this, I got on this project this year and I got this big goal for December, right? Made a December for a business. That's like seven months. You know how ridiculously fast that is? Because, you know, as I, as I tell myself, because I, I know it's going to happen because of this month, the sales I had this month 
just told me, all right, this is thing is going to happen. It's on and popping as you come out with these new courses and new training and, and the new selling method. And I'm just sitting here like the times that we live in today are some of the most precious times on the planet where you can literally start a business. You can be a regular Joe and you could come to the internet and within two years have a million dollar business. Man, I, I want you to think about that. You could come to YouTube and you could scale up your business. There's a guy, Mission Side Hustle. His name is Corey. And his goal is to turn 500 bucks into a million. And I, I really believe that he's gonna get there because he's doing things. Because I can look at what he's doing because I used to do a lot of the same things and I can see he's on the right path. And as he gets up there, because the next thing he's going to have to do, and this, because right now he's doing all the selling and delivery, right? The next thing Corey's going to have to do is hire somebody. He's, you know, he's probably four or five months away from hiring someone because it's just going to get to be too much for him to do all this stuff by himself. And he's going to have to hire someone to post the ads. He's, and, you know, incidentally, when I was doing the same thing, I did not hire anyone to post the ads. And that was part of me not having trust that I could find someone who would actually do the ads. And that from my mindset today and the way that I run business today, that was a mistake. And one of the things that I'm getting, and this is going to happen this year, I'm going to start running commercials. Like, you know, some of you have seen commercials in my YouTube videos. That's not, that's, that's something that's going to get better and better and better because I'm doing a lot of things. I'm doing a lot of testing. Uh, with the strong cocaine, all my thumbnails are made from mid journey, which is becoming real interesting. And, you know, like, you know, this is a little detour with mid journey. It's very hard to get explicit, somewhat explicit images. Let me tell you this morning, I was trying to get an image of a woman wearing a pink bikini, wearing pink high heels against a black background. Mid journey just wouldn't do it. It wouldn't do it. It just wouldn't do it. It, it, it was, and it, it came up that, you know, we don't, the developers don't think this is an appropriate image to be creating. And once again, she ain't nude. So once again, I'm finding out more and more stuff with the AI stuff that I'm using. And this is kind of funny. This, this, this is hilarious. Some of y'all will think that some of my long posts that I've been posting here on Facebook are AI. <laughs> y'all forget. I have written multiple books. I'm a writer. Y'all forget that. And I'm just be sitting there. It's like, oh, username AI. I'm like, no, the majority of what I have put up recently, I have written. So that tells me that you guys are not really using AI because, you know, once you use AI enough, you, you will start to see the difference. You will start to see the, um, the because like when I'm on, online, I could tell when someone was written by AI. You know, you pick up that eye. The fact that y'all cannot tell when I wrote something and when AI wrote something tells me that you guys are not strongly investigating into Chat GPT, Mid Journey. You're just ignoring this, and I I have something to say for you folks who are ignoring this. Um, three years in the future, you're going to be paying because you ignored this. AI ain't going nowhere. AI, you know, since we, the consumer, have access to it, it's going to get stronger. It's going to get better. And I'm going to make this prediction. Once the explicit AI, because all of the AI, MidJourney, ChatGBT, they are they are limited that you can't do explicit content. Within the next three years, there will be some AI that you will be able to do explicit content. This is going to dramatically change porn. This is going to dramatically change adult websites. This is dramatically going to change only fans. In the next three years, there will be some AI that you can go in and make exactly what you want, whether it's explicit or not. That is coming. And for all of you folks who are sitting around playing on the sidelines, not involving yourself in chat GPT, not involving yourself in mid journey, not involving yourself in galley, not involved. There's so many of them out there and you have no clue to what's going on. Three to five years, you're going to realize that you made a mistake not to get involved in this because here's the thing. What is AI right now? AI is like early crypto. 
it's the same thing. And a lot of people like, I didn't sleep on early crypto. I wish I had bought more. So all of you folks who are asleep, who are ignoring AI, who thinks that every time I do something, I can tell you all of the thumbnails on that strong cocaine. Yeah, that's AI. That, that's a plan. That's a plan. I just don't do stuff. I do everything off a playbook. I do everything off a plan. I have a strategy. I just don't be out here throwing rocks against the wall, hoping to put a hole in the wall. No. So once again, you in, you guys are going to have to get into the work. You guys are going to have to get into doing these things. So once again, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that for those of us who are willing to do the work, the rewards are going to be awesome. The rewards are going to be great because we're going to have a situation where we're going to have available to us some of the most awesome um, benefits and awards and cash on the planet. What we got going on is going to be 100% incredible. 100% incredible. So once again, it's May the 25th. I know what day it is. I looked at the calendar and uh, that gives me six days to get the corporate playbook finished. And this weekend, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. I'm going to do a long term sprint and I'm probably going to double the size of the uh, corporate citizen playbook this weekend. And it's already at five hours. So that's going to be in 10 hours. And we're going to get into a lot of strategy, tricks and tactics and some other things. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for that because we got that going. And if you want to go ahead and get how to turn a how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. One of the things that you, you got to do if you want to get that training and you want to get in cheap, go below, get in the corporate citizen playbook, use the promo code, which is quite cheap for what you're going to get and use promo code jump J U M P and go ahead and get yourself in there. It's going to be in the description and it's going to be in the first comment. So that's all I got for you guys. I will let you know what I'm cooking on because we, we gonna be cooking this year. We gonna be, Glendon is in the kitchen. Glendon is by the grill. I'm flipping burgers. I'm flipping hot dogs. We about to cook this year.